Hello everyone, how are you? I have been meaning to film an update about last week and I haven't because I keep forgetting or I'm putting it off, I don't know what I'm doing. But here I am, this weekend I have been resting, trying to build up extra energy in my energy bank. I don't know if that's how it works where I can stock up in a bunch of extra energy or if it's like not going to follow me into next week. I don't know, <laughs> we'll see. But I've been resting hoping that it'll help with next week. Last week was my first week with Kyle going back to work and Ellis going back to school. Everyone has big emotions, but I think we're doing okay emotionally. Um, my, well, I say that and I cried so much last week and Kyle cried one day and Winnie cried. I'm not sure if Ellis cried, but lots of big emotions, but I think we're doing okay. I had a cold last week that we think started with Winnie. So Winnie had a cold almost two weeks ago. Then I started to have it. Then Kyle, then Ellis. And then now today, it seems like Winnie's getting it again. And I don't know if she's getting it the same one again, or if it's a different one, or if she never even had the one we ha all have. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. But we've been all under the weather getting better. Ellis had it this weekend, the cold, so I'm glad he had a long weekend from school to where he's able to rest a little bit more. He was supposed to go to Disneyland today with his Gigi, Kyle's mom, but it was supposed to rain all day, and I don't think it did rain all day, but he was getting over his cold, so I think it's good that he stayed home and rested. Kyle says he feels 100% better from the cold, and I do not feel 100% better. I feel a lot better, but not 100%. I think it's the whole battling cancer thing. It takes me a little longer to get back to my new normal. Um, this morning, I woke up with diarrhea. <laughs> Sorry for being TMI, but that's me. Um, but I woke up running to the toilet that's part of my clinical trial. A uh, side effect of it is diarrhea. Fun. And anyways, so after I was able to eat, so I have to have a window of fasting for my medication. Uh, after I was able to eat, I asked Kyle to make me bland toast, lightly toasted toast, because I wanted it to absorb some of the stomach acid or just sometimes toast just helps me feel better when my stomach's upset. So I ate a full piece and halfway into my second piece I noticed that there's mold all on the bottom corner of my toast. <sighs> Kyle's like, no, 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 it can't be mold. I'm like, it's mold. And then he goes and checks the loaf and it's all over the loaf, the bottom of the loaf. And good thing I completed that first piece of toast because I ate it. <laughs> I was like, well, maybe it's like helpful in some way. I'm like, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think it's good for me. But I ate some mold for breakfast, um, which is funny. I didn't notice, so maybe maybe my that piece didn't have a lot. I don't know. Last week, I realized I was still grieving the loss of who I was before cancer and the loss of the life I thought I was going to have. I love who I am now, and I'm grateful for all that I can do um, and all that I'm able to do, but I still miss who I was before cancer. I, you know, I always worked so hard on my health and being physically fit so that I could run around with my kids all the time, and so it, it's just a bummer that I can't do all that I used to do. Even just sitting around and doing all the activities I did last week with Winnie, which I was happy with what I did. Um, it takes so much energy getting from activity to activity, um, interacting throughout the activity. And I think she'll need less interaction from me as we get more used to this, but 
right now it's taking a lot of energy but i don't care i i was crying about how much i am physically hurting and struggling to do all of this and keep up with the kids and friday when i did pick up for ellis picking him up from school on thursday and friday i had debilitating pain like by the time i got to the car on friday i fell to my knees in pain and i was uncontrollably crying i don't know if people saw me or not i didn't care it was i couldn't stand a second longer it was all in my back it feels like the back of my lung is where it was hurting and i was just crying and i took dilaudid on those days but after the big pain episodes that's the thing with the big pain episodes i don't know when they're coming and they both came while I was doing school pickup. So I couldn't prepare for it. And I'm not sure what's triggering the, that pain flare up. If it's um, that I'm sleeping too flat when I nap with Winnie. You know, I set up my wedge pillow and have like an incline, but my bed can go much higher. So I think I'm gonna have her try to nap in my bed with me this week and see if that helps or if it's that I'm just doing so much more than I was, so that's why I'm having a pain flare up. I don't know, or Kyle said the fluid could be dying inside there, the cancer in the fluid. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, the whole point of what I was, my little tangent was, even if I'm going through so much pain and struggling so much, like hurting and weak, because I'm battling cancer while taking care of the kids. Even if that's happening, I don't care because <laughs> I want to be there for my kids. I want to be their mom for as long as I am allowed to. So as long as I'm physically able to, even if I'm struggling, even if it hurts, I want, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I don't wanna cry. I want to do as much for them as I can while I'm still here, so I'm happy, even though it's hard. <laughs> I'm happy that I was able to do as much as I was last week, it fills my heart. Mind you, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, my sister came over with her baby, River, and she helped take care of Winnie and the dogs. <laughs> she cleaned up dog pee many times. Shiloh, our senior dog, he just, wanders and goes wherever he wants <clears throat> and then um she helped keep winnie busy with activities she played with her too and let me rest on the couch while she played with winnie and tended to her a bit which was very nice i'm so grateful for my sister and my dad picked up ellis one of the days from school and he came over and fixed our sink when it broke. Our plumbing under the sink started leaking and so my dad had to come over and fix it. You know, that's how it works. Kyle goes back to work, the dishwasher broke, or no, not the dishwasher, the garbage disposal broke and the sink started leaking. My dad fixed the sink, Kyle fixed the garbage disposal. I feel like there was something else. Our dryer was acting like it was broken. Um, Kyle was doing laundry and it seemed like our dryer was broken, but now it seems fine. So knock on wood, <laughs> hopefully it's fine. Another TMI thing, so if you don't like TMI, skip ahead a little bit. Um, another TMI thing is I think I started my period for the first time since my cancer spread everywhere. <laughs> so when I started chemo last March, my period went away and I haven't had a period since then. I have had where I thought my period was trying to come back. The last two months I had spotting. It's not like I had one day of spotting. It was like one moment of spotting. I had one moment of spotting on one day last month and then the month before. Excuse my voice, it's this lingering cold. I can't fully get rid of it. But it wasn't enough to count it as a period. And then now, um, I thought I was having that same spotting 
yesterday, but it's, I had a good amount of spotting yesterday and then some today. So I think, I think my period's coming back, but it's the lightest thing, which, woo, grateful for that. <laughs> That's one of the silver linings of cancer treatment for me personally. I liked that I didn't have to deal with a period during chemo. I thought it was nice. Ellis is enjoying being back at school. He loves school, which always makes me so happy. He is going to start baseball soon. We tried to send him up for t-ball, but he's his birthday falls like two days after the cutoff, so he's actually going straight into baseball. I don't know anything about baseball because I was never into sports, but Kyle loves baseball, so he's excited. I'm excited too, but I just don't know anything about baseball. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it'll be nice. And then Winnie, and then he does swim still. And then Winnie's back in dance, she loves that, so that's good. Kyle did well at his first week back at work. Um, I think he's gonna film talking about it more in depth on his channel. So if he does film talking about it, I'll link it in the description box for you guys if you're interested in how he feels mentally going back to work. I don't know how much he'll open up. I kind of like that I can go watch and see. <laughs> He's at the grocery store right now with the kids. He took them out so that I could film this I go to City of Hope this week. It's another getting approved for clinical trial or not, cycle four maybe. And I'm excited for that and nervous for that. It's supposed to be a quick day, but I have a feeling it'll end up being longer than planned because we have to wait on the medication getting, going through the pharm pharmacy and that always takes longer than we hope. So I have a feeling that'll be a while but I'm, I'm excited to go. Kyle took off so that he can go with me. I thought he would be helpful for it because they, I have to run back and forth from pharmacy to the clinical trial area and I can't physically keep running back and forth. So Kyle does it for me and <laughs> thank you, Kyle. Um, so he'll be taking the day off and then my dad and sister will be watching the kids. I think my dad will watch them during the day. My sister will watch them in the evening. Hopefully I'll be stronger this week. I'm convinced I will be. I'm convinced the cold made this way harder than it needed to be the first week. Kyle had the cold too and he's tough. He doesn't complain when he's sick and he was like, oh my gosh, I don't feel good. <laughs> so if Kyle's curling up, crying about it, then you know it's a bad cold. So I'm hoping that this week I'll be much better and I can do more. I'll update you guys. I love you and I miss you. I appreciate you all. I feel like I haven't been on here much because we're back to the swing of things in life and I, I'm just trying to keep up with everyone else. But I, I feel like I haven't been on here talking to you guys. So I miss you and I appreciate you all. I love you. I hope you have a good day and I will see you. I'll see you soon when I go to City of Hope, I'll film. Bye.